When they kept going, when she kept going on and on, I turned to leave the room. Do you understand? And I heard that said, yeah. your own is too much. What is it? I don't feel, I just turned back because like I said, okay, you don't want to shut up. I will shut you up. That was my reaction. Do you understand? And, and so I moved towards her. Chioma just, Chioma just jumped in front of me. And I am so sorry because when I'm angry, please, you should understand. We are all different. We have, with the way we handle situations differs. Do you understand? I'm not saying my own way of handling things is the best, but this is me. Do you understand? I was very mm-hmm. angry. Trauma came in front of me. I, I didn't even know how I flinged her. I just said, bah. And the next, before I moved again, she came again. I don't know. Bah. Because each time I was trying to move, she was coming in front of me. And I didn't want anybody to hold me because she kept ranting. And she was insulting me at that. And I just wanted to get close to her and say, you know what? If you're this angry, let us beat ourselves up so that we can both, you understand? When we finish beating ourselves, very well, we'll not sit down and say, okay, what is it? Do you understand? So that is me. And oh, yeah. I didn't even know oh, Chuchama okay. got hurt in the process. Do you understand? Yeah, and then the next thing, bring you into this. Yeah. Now, you guys should understand <laughs> that the camera, everybody, everybody had gone to sleep. It was just us. We were supposed to go and sleep. It was in the middle of the night. The camera people had their own apartment, which was very far from where we were. There was no camera there. Do you understand? It was just for us to sleep. Miriam came from nowhere and grabbed me from the back and pulled me, and I fell on the bed with her. I turned. I even wanted to punch that one. Before I now realized that ah, is Miriam. Then I calmed down. <laughs> now that, that moment, I just left the room because Miriam was saying, "Oh yeah, punch me. Oh yeah, punch me." So you can get the anger off. And Miriam came saying, "Carol, can you shut up? Can you shut up? What is wrong with you?" I said, "I'm not going to shut up. I will not shut up for her. I want her to do what I want today. I want... You know, like <laughs> you had an issue with me, and I didn't know. That was how I felt. Sorry, I'm raising my voice, but what happened? And what happened? Yes, because people need to understand that he wasn't the fact that she even disrespected me. He was the fact that I was hurt by her words because this was someone I genuinely loved, stood for. I had a day to my daughter's birthday. Me, yeah, but my children are so golden to me. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> my children, I don't joke. I had to cancel the appointment I had. With, I could not go to see all the vendors. I didn't go to the hall. I didn't know anything they were doing about my daughter's baby because I was so focused on trying to make sure that all of them, you know, that we settle all this wahala so that we can move on from there. All that meeting well, that they said I we'll planned to 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 um to set up Laura. Everybody had an issue with Laura, and I just we felt like you know what we all need to come and tell her exactly how we feel so that she can stop because we just but needed you did her that to particularly stop. for Caroline. Yes, we needed her to stop. Do you understand? And Caroline was one of the reasons why. Yeah, and then all okay, of a sudden, yeah, no. now let me tell you where the twist is. Let me tell you where the twist is now. Let me tell you where the twist is that um, I was trying to explain it on on the reunion, but I know they might show it, they might not show it because I we didn't have time to really go into details like I'm doing with you ladies now. I went. I went downstairs, right? I went downstairs. Now, my PA went to hide himself because I wanted to leave the apartment. But my, the key of my room was in my PA. I couldn't, even my slippers, I couldn't find it. I couldn't, my wigs, everything was flying different places. I didn't even know where everything was. So I was looking for, where is my PA? Where did he go to? I wanted to leave because I, I didn't want to be there. I didn't want him to, to try and make peace between me and Caroline that moment. So I wanted to leave. Do you understand? So in the bit of looking for my, my PA, I couldn't find him. I, I just sat down in the living room there. Now, when I sat down there, now the doors were open and I could hear Choma. No, I went into Choma's room. I went back upstairs. I went into um, where them Choma's room were. Laura came to meet me there. She wanted to find out what was going on. They had called the team. The team wanted to speak to me. They wanted to know if they should call the police or come down, you know, like... Uh, then okay, Choma yeah. came in. And when Choma came in, Choma was like, yeah, but please, I need to talk to you. And then Laura left. And then Choma was like, please, please. And I said, Choma, let me tell you something. I love you so much. I love you really much. But I'm going to tell you something today. That girl has crossed the line with me. And trust me, if you get involved, you yourself, I will join you together. Both of you. Five of you, Nano Rich. That's what I told her. I, me, if I want to start, I will start. So I am starting already. So don't come and t-. she said, no, 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 you can't do that. Oh, you need to understand. Caroline is my friend and you're my person too. And you're my friend too. So please, we have to. I said, Choma, leave me alone. Choma said, no, 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 I can't do that. I have to bring that. I said, don't bring that. Come and beg me. Because you see, when I now went out of the room, I heard Miriam and 
um, Tiana telling her, ah, you have to apologize. It's not fair. Ah, no, you can't do this to Yabo. Ah, ah, Yabo, that, you understand? She was like, no, I'm not apologizing. I will not apologize. Apologize for what? Who is she? I'm not apologizing. I don't give a fuck about her. I don't care about her. Apologize. What the fuck can she do? No, 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 no. And I'm, do you understand? I'm already in a state of mind where I am pissed off. Do you understand? I went downstairs. Yeah. I was looking for my PA. And Choma went into the room and I heard Choma's voice say, no, you have to apologize. No, Caroline, you can't say that. Not to Iyabo. You can't do that. You know, she went on and on. I'm shouting so you guys can understand how heated the argument was, yeah. right? And she went on and on and on and on. And two seconds, I see all of them coming down with the same person that is saying she cannot apologize. So I got up on that pillow. I went to the balcony. She followed me. She now hugged me from behind. Auntie Abo, I'm sorry. Auntie Abo, I didn't mean it. Auntie Abo, this. I was boiling. I felt like decking her, but at the same time, ugh, I was like, okay, yeah, but just behave yourself. Do you understand? Okay, you are sorry. No problem. No problem. It's okay. But you know when somebody's saying you are sorry, and I say, okay, okay, no problem. Because everybody was apologizing. I didn't, I want the apology to stop. It's okay. I just need to go and process. I'm a deep thinker. I need to process exactly what happened here. Do you understand? So I started crying. I said, Caroline, please, I want to ask you one thing. What exactly did I do wrong? I need to know what I did wrong. If Tiana had come to ask you if you were okay with the room and you told her you were okay, where is my fault? Where is my insensitivity coming from? This same insensitive, you said I'm insensitive to you. This same me that I've always stood for you, by you, always. I don't get it. What did I do wrong? What exactly is your problem? What is it? Tell me. Say nothing, nothing, no. It was just a transfer. So I said, when you get this angry, is this how you transfer your aggression? Is this how you raise your voice and scream and shout and insult people because you want to transfer your aggression? Say, it's the devil. I should just forgive. I should just let it go. So fine, I left. They walked me to me back to my room. I didn't even have slippers on my leg. I walked with my bare feet back to my apartment and then I saw my PA along the way and I was like, oh guy, where did you go to? He said, eh, he just ran out of the room because he didn't he knew. He didn't want me to live like that in that mood. Okay, fine. So we went into my room. Everybody went and we left. Case closed. Yeah. The next yeah. morning, I woke up to her message. Caroline sent me a message and said she was sorry. Choma also sent me a message apologizing on behalf of Caroline. Okay, and that day was supposed to be the Bilonia's Theme, right? I stayed in my room oh, all day. Tiana right, kept right, talking right. to me. Yeah, but sorry, before you go further, I wanted to confirm, reconfirm yeah. something, Choma, based off of yeah. what you say. Um, Choma, yeah. um, during the time you guys were out and everything, was there any issue that you had with uh, Caroline that made her feel kind of irritated and feel not to have you in the same uh, space with her? And the Yabo, she stayed in that other apartment that me and Caroline were supposed to stay in. Toyin asked Caroline first. Caroline came to ask me if it was okay. And she actually said to me, you know, since it's her and her husband and he doesn't have a place to stay, let them just stay together. Obviously, me and you can share a room now. It's not me and you. It's fine. And I was like, hmm. Hmm. I said, okay, no problem. I was even slightly hesitant, if I'm being honest, to agree to this. But I was like, okay, no problem. Fine. We'll share the room and Toyin Iyabo and her husband can go to the other apartment. Perfectly fine. And then... We went to the mall that afternoon and, you know, halfway through on the journey, she was like, this production people, they're not even serious. Why are they not making us share a room? And I was like, but it's not production making us share a room. Production have said that we, me and you can have the apartment. You're the one that just agreed to Toyin that you don't mind sharing a room. She was like, mm, but at the end of the day, why us though? Why did she have to ask me and you? Why didn't she ask anybody else? And I was like, mm, obviously because we're the closest. And she was just like, mm, anyway, mm please i'm even irritated about the situation you know i was like yeah but i mean you've already said yes to toyin you know and i think it's the right thing to do since it's her husband you know it's cool she was like anyway whatever Sha, next time and so that's kind of like all we discussed about it but it was very clear that toyin and her husband were staying in that room and it was actually no fault of production production had nothing to do with it so she wasn't necessarily angry at the situation she just expressed that mm. You know, it's like somebody has made up their mind to do something. And then the next thing you're changing your mind. So even I was shocked that she was changing her mind. And then when we got back to the apartment, Yab was right. She was talking to Laura, her and Toyin and Laura were having a conversation. And I think that pissed off Caroline that Yabba was having a conversation with Laura because, I mean, naturally, she probably expected that, oh, we're still not all talking to Laura, you know, because of Laura's drama and blah, blah, blah. So maybe her coming and seeing Yabba talking to Laura pissed her off and then she just went straight upstairs to the bedroom so that's all that happened nothing happened between me and her me and her were still good like we're fine we're just saying you know and then 
Yabo now came to say goodnight, and then she just went from zero to one million. Wow, so even yeah. I was like, huh? You know, what's well, going on? Yeah, I want to get back. Auntie Yabo, um, Yabo, I'm sorry. Um, I want to say you're not Raz. You know, I wanted to yeah. kind of go back to something you said from the beginning. You're not Raz. I'm glad that you do your, your- You know, that's my identity. That's that's my originality. I am... Do you understand? A Yoruba lady. And I am proud, do you understand, to relate in my language. And if that's what the term Raz, I also call myself Raz so that they can all feel good about themselves, you know? So it's no big yeah. deal. You know, so after... They went out shopping. I was in the room. I was very angry, still angry. Not really angry at um, Caroline, but I was just, I was hurt. Let me use that word. Because, you know, sometimes when you want to do things and they don't allow you to do it, you know, that kind of feeling. I had that feeling and I had to keep talking to myself. Tiana came in, you understand, telling me, oh, yeah, well, take it easy, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Tiana, even you, I don't want to talk to you this moment. Yes, I said that. I don't want to talk to you this moment. And she said, why? I said, you yourself, you said this and this about me. So do you understand? This, I was now, I had lost it. I was like, okay, that was the angry. first time you confronted Tiana about And I told her straight up. I, that was the first time because I was now angry. I like, you understand? I woke up the next morning very angry. I slept angry. I woke up angry. Do you understand? I was like, you yourself, you said this, you said that, you said this, you said that. And she was like, she quickly went to bring the message. She showed me. She tried to explain herself, blah, 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 blah. I said, so don't come and tell me that you warned me about anything. Don't come, because that's what made me tell her that she said, yeah, Auntie Abba, you know, I warned you. I said, don't come and tell me you warned me. Don't use that word you warned me. Because you yourself said this about me. You yourself did. I said, that was not what she meant. You know, Caroline Malin put it, twisted it, blah, blah, blah. I, was, I went off on her. Tiana started crying. I started crying. Do you understand? And we yeah, had that. So- but you know, it was her birthday. So I had to it calm down, birthday, yeah. do you understand? And I'm like, I don't even want to go for the, I'm not going for the bilunia rubbish. I'm not doing anything. Choma called me in between. Are you getting ready? I said, I'm not going. Choma said, ah, oh, you can't do that one. Do you want me to come down? You can't, you have to. Ah, oh, you can't do that one. Even if it's for Tina, you have to go. I'm like, I, Choma, I'm not coming. If I come, I don't know how I'm going to react. But right now, until I get an answer for why she did that, I don't want to have anything to do with her. She said sorry yesterday. I had to accept her sorry so that we can all go and sleep. But I woke up this morning, I still need an explanation because I don't get what is going on. She needs to tell me exactly what I've done wrong. Do you understand? So I, Chama was like, don't do that. You have to do that for Tiana. Then Tiana came, she was crying. Uh, and see, yeah, boy, my birthday is this nice. This is not good. Though. I said, okay, I am sorry. Okay, then I had to do my make- makeup. So that day, I was not myself, but I had to go. Yeah. When we got to the Binyonia Club, do you understand? I was already teary from the car. Because, you know, like, I am not myself. You know, I'm someone that I take time. I take time to get over things. So, and this is what, this is a rush. Something happened yesterday night. Today, people want me to be on the same show with her. You understand? I wasn't having all these things. I, I just wanted to, like, be in my room, lock my door, not talk to anybody, cry if I had to cry, get over whatever I had to get over. But I was not given that space and that time because we had to record, right? So I got there. The team came, some of them came to meet me to talk to, talk to me. Like they can see I'm not smiling. Because when I came down from the car, my face was very hard. They had to cut and re- take that scene again. They said, when I came down, was my face was not okay. That I need to smile. You know, I need to show that I'm happy. So I had to go back into the car, come back out again, pretend to be okay. Right? So I got into the hall. I sat down there and immediately I saw Caroline. Now, note, I had not seen her since we had the issue a night, right? So this was the next day. This was my first time seeing her. I mean, I saw her. The tears were just uncontrollable. I could not stop crying. So I had to quickly get up from there. I went straight. You understand? The camera picked my tears a bit, but I'm sure they didn't want to show that part. So I went straight into the toilet and I started crying. I was crying uncontrolling. And then I just saw Choma came at me and she was like, I knew you were I knew you came here to cry. I knew, please, you have to calm down. You have to understand that she's sorry. You know, please just let it go. I'm like, Choma, can you tell me what exactly it is I did wrong? Because I I always like to know what I've done wrong. If she doesn't tell me what I've done wrong, I already have concluded in my head that this lady had problems with me long time ago, but she was looking for an opportunity to vent it out. So now she has done that. And when you 
you have a problem with me and i can i walk right so i am not going to take her apology until she truly because it cannot be revealed. no 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 how can you tell me transfer aggression you're telling me are you crazy what is wrong with you are you my mother don't fucking talk to me who the fuck are you what the fuck are you what do you think you are what can you do you do too much get out leave me alone ah, no 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 it cannot be transfer aggression now. there has to be something else and she needs to talk Jennifer, and Chema was like, see, I just need you to be okay. I just want you to know that even I, I felt, oh, that was when she told me that she had, had bruises all over her body. I said, oh, really? I didn't know. I'm sorry. Do you understand? And even the fact that she not told me I bruised her, that one even now made my matter worse. I just started crying. Then Miriam came. Yeah. She met us. Then Miriam was like, ah, God, yeah, boy, I knew. And then they both started petting me, begging me, blah, 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 blah. And we went on and on. And then I was one and a half hours away and the show was just about to end. So they said, we need to get back on set or less. The sh- they will not be able to use the show when everybody's not there. Three of them, three of us was out of the show already. So I had to go back there, powder my face and then went back on set. And then forcefully I had to dance and everything. Do you understand? I heard Caroline saying I danced with her. I didn't dance with you. I was dancing my own. Are you coming to where I stand? Do you understand? I was doing my own thing. Then... When we were about leaving, do you understand? We were about leaving. Tony's husband had decided to take professional pictures for us. Uh, you understand? We saw some fancy cars parked outside. I'm like, okay, let's tap into this. Let's take pictures. Because you know, I was just trying to make myself happy. Do you understand? So we went, I was taking pictures. Choma was, I wanted to do videos for Choma. So Choma was standing next to me, waiting for me to take the phone and do her videos. Because, you know, we do videos for each other. So as I was standing there, she came. I said, Auntie Abo, I got you something. Please. And then she stretched the gift towards me and I did not answer her at first. Santi Yabo, please now take it now. And then I looked at Choma and Choma was doing her face like Choma, now you cost all this wala for me. So and Choma was doing her face like please take the gift now. Take the gift now. You know, like you know she was just telling me please take it, take it. And I'm like, okay. So I took the gift and I went to drop it in the car. And then I finished and then I left. When I got back to the hotel, Tiana picked up the gift. I said Tiana don't touch that gift. I want to return it. I just had to collect it because she gave me outside. People were there. And Choma was nodding her head like, I should take it, I should take it. I don't want that gift. I'm going to do the wrong. There is more to this thing. What I saw in her, the fights, the anger, everything I there is so much. I can't be close to, I like to know my enemies. Do you understand? I like to know. Do you understand? So I can know how to deal with you. I hate okay. friend enemies. You cannot, I cannot see so much hate and anger in your eyes towards me and I'll be cool with you. I mean, I don't, I, I'm an actress. I understand reactions. Do you understand? To, uh, to be billionaires. Uh, I understand gestures. It's what I do for a living. I understand mannerism. <laughs> I've been an actress for 20 something years. So I said, I'm returning. Tiana just opened the gift. She wanted to see. She saw that it was a perfume. She had my initials on it. She put it back. I didn't even care. Now, guess what? I woke up the next morning and Tiana came to me. Choma came to speak to me. See, please, you just need to be okay. I said, Ch- Chema, what, what is your own now in this beggy, 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 beggy? Beg. You said you are begging more than the... She, she said, because she knows that I'm upset and she's not going to be comfortable that I'm not okay with Caroline and then she's with Caroline. That she just wants the three of us to be back like before. I said, Chema, go and rest. Do you understand? And I went off the phone with her. So that kind of got me thinking and I so bless God. I so bless God that I made that move. Now, immediately, I just said to myself, Iabo, you are an elderly person. You are older than this girl. Let it go. With time, you will heal. And with time, she will get to explain exactly what went wrong with her. But for the meantime, just don't, so that people don't keep begging you and begging you and you don't look like a witch, right? Just let it go. So I left and I said, you know what? Let me go and give them a surprise visit. Now, this is the part that nobody knew. This is the part that I didn't even tell anybody until when we had that reunion. Yeah. When I got into the apartment, now note, my apartment is far from their own. When I got there, the door was opened. I walked in and I was about going to their room from the, from my, as I entered that apartment, are you hearing me? We can yeah. hear you. I heard the exchange of words. I just, I was hearing noise. Da, da, 
ba 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 ba. Some people were arguing upstairs. I could hear Caroline's voice. I could hear Chalmers' voice. I could hear Miriam's voice. So I climbed gently upstairs. Like, what is going on here? Ah, uh-uh. who is fighting? Who? And as I got close to the door, I heard. I cannot apologize, which is Caroline. I will not apologize again. What is it? I have given her a gift. I knelt down. Have apolog- I'm not apologizing. I heard Choma say, I am not telling you to apologize. I'm just saying, talk to her. I'm just saying, talk to her because yesterday you, you asked me, what is wrong? What happened in the, ho- um, in the toilet? And I told you that she went there she was crying so it means that she's still hot just talk to her i said no i'm not talking to her blah blah, blah. and they started yeah, but if you open that door and go in i will bounce on caroline again do you understand because I, i'm still angry so i just went back downstairs and i sat in the living room now note both of them didn't know i was in that living room right i went back i sat down and they were still raising their voice. That papa, then all of a sudden I could hear, fuck you, get out, bitch, you, blah, blah, both of them. You know, Choma's mouth. Okay, so mouth that explains Choma. They were just throwing okay, different things. Bad bulls, 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 Yeah, bulls. okay, okay, okay. That, no, that, that is the camera, part that the people way. don't get. Do you understand? I know, now, yeah. he was not on camera. And I didn't talk about it. Yeah. I kept it yeah. to myself. Because I now, not that I told you that I'm trying to work on myself. Do you understand? So I sat down there, angry. This is me wanting to heal. Now for me to now come and see that the lady that came to say she was sorry, sorry, and knelt down and even bought me a gift was still saying she's not going to have a conversation with me again. Okay. If I cannot take the sorry that she has given and the gift, I should fuck off. Okay. Right? Okay, it makes sense. No. And I'm okay, sitting Okay, it makes there. sense. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Choma. It's, this is, okay, and then this both of them me. had an argument. Carol, uh, Miriam was trying to get in between them, and they both came out of the room. So, as they came, when you stand upstairs, you can see downstairs. You know those kind of apartment, yeah. So, as they opened their door, they saw me downstairs, both of them, and then all of a sudden, the shout that they were shouting at each other ceased. The next, I just said, "I'm thinking about Carol. I'm thinking about to talk to you. I'm thinking about to talk to you. Come on." <laughs> Hmm. Now I can see your true picture. Now I know who you truly are. Now I can read your, your your mind. Now I know that that gift you gave me was fake. Now I know that the apology wasn't coming from somewhere. Because if it's coming from somewhere and they told you that, oh, Yabo was crying nonstop yesterday because of this matter, you should say, oh, really? She's still hot? Okay, I'll try and talk to her. Oh, I didn't know she's this hot, right? You and Chema would not have had that piece of... Now remember, they were already... Swing on each other. Shut up. Get out. Who is controlling you? Who is telling you? I'm just telling you the right. You know, they were both. That's Chama's voice. And Kara was like, You two, shut up. Idiot. And they were both having that conversation. Yeah, <laughs> so here is I, me. Uh, yeah. All of a sudden, yeah. in a twinkle of an eye, just because you spotted me downstairs, you just came, Auntie, have a, Auntie, have a, can I have a conversation with you? And I ignored her and I followed Chioma. And we went okay, upstairs. So and Choma was shaking. She was shaking. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. Choma was shaking. Yeah. She was crying. She was shaking. I got hot because of this girl. Look at my arm. I, I, I said, hey, don't worry. Don't see anything. Miriam came in and said, Yabo, just Yabo. Is Yabo Joe? Like, Miriam was just begging me, Yabo, please, please. Just let's, don't get angry. I know. I said, I said, M- Miriam, I heard everything. She said, I know, I know. Don't get angry. And then the next minute, Caroline, Caroline came back into the room. And see, Abo, please, I really need to talk to you. She was like, what do you want to talk to her about? What do you want? She said, I said, Choma, wait, let me go and meet her. So I left and I went with Choma and Caroline. And immediately, Santi, Abo, honestly, let me kneel down for you again. I am so, I said, Caroline, wait. This you're kneeling down. Everything is not my problem. My problem is what you see behind my back. It's very important to me. Oh, don't mind. Has Choma told you anything? I never told her Choma did or not. I just kept quiet. I said, Caroline, it's not about what your mother told me or what your mother did not tell me, right? What exactly is your problem with me? Don't come up and be saying Auntie Yabo, Auntie Yabo in my back, in my front, then in my back. You're like, who the fuck is she? I don't give a fuck about her. See exactly what I've done. So that if I, if I have to be the one to kneel down and apologize to you, I will do it. Where did I go wrong with you? What have I done wrong to you? Explain yourself. At least, Laura, I can see that our own wahala. I can identify our own problem with me. Do you understand? I know how to deal with it. Your own problem, I cannot identify it because when you see me this minute, you're very sweet and nice. And the next minute, behind my back, hey, you're fire. 
Do you understand? I said, no, auntie, I'm honestly, it was just transfer, great. Right? Problem now is what did I do to you? She said nothing. And I said, okay. I made up my mind. I was not going to have an issue with her about it again, but I did not want to be the reason why Chioma and Caroline will have an issue. Now, the mm. parts that they did not show, because they jumped. Most of the parts we actually, actually the... That you said, everything that you yes. carry said. Now, yes. It, it, so it, when we were, it's not on the show. Of, so, so, yes. So when we were at the pool side, now you know we had to do the pool thing. Actually, we're supposed to go on the beach, do some ride, but there was no time. We, we always get the lit. When we got to the beach house, the, the pool house, we had the swimming and everything, and the crew wanted me to still talk about the issue. Now, remember, the crew was not there when all this fight and issue happened. So they wanted me to talk about it now on camera. I said this on the podcast yesterday. I said this on the podcast yesterday. I said this on the podcast yesterday. Yes. <laughs> yes. Should not have happened. Just that. But I needed to talk about it because obviously people would now notice that me and Caroline has a fallout. So people will not understand. So they made, they needed, let me use Chama's word, they needed to make it make sense. Do you understand? So they wanted <laughs> us to come together and have that conversation. But because sometimes we don't want we have to get right now notice that i already had caught caroline that she was not really sorry hmm? but i had to now pretend so i sat down there they wanted me to have this conversation right now the hall came guess what i was supposed to start the conversation but miriam started the conversation <laughs> right miriam was like ha ah, yeah but i'm so happy that you are forgiving Caroline and everything is okay, blah, blah, blah. I said, but because I know, noticed that, I noticed that Choma was still, because of the, that we both very well in that room. Do you understand? So mm -hmm. I knew that Choma was still not having it with Caroline. Do you understand? So for, for you to now, I now, I twisted the conversation to myself. I said, Caroline, I have forgiven you. Everything is fine. But I don't like the fact that you and Chioma had that fallout. So I will appreciate it because I know Chioma has showed me her bruises. And I would have liked both of us to beat ourselves very well and end up in the Bible. Apologize to her for <laughs> you know what happened. That okay, Chioma, because of me, this happened to you. Oh, yeah. So that everything can cuckoo just end. Do you understand? So we don't have to bring the drama on the show. Caroline said, I don't owe her an apology and I'm not apologizing. I read, oh, Jesus this Christ, spoke Caroline. to her. I am not apologizing. Omo, that's how Choma wow. went off. What do you mean? I know you are not sorry. I know you're not sorry. Yeah, so you see, I know you're not sorry was not for me. That's okay. what you showed me the other way. Okay. When Choma said, I know you're not sorry, it wasn't for me, it was for her. Ah, okay, okay, it makes sense. Okay. Are you guessing okay. in that place? Yeah. Where she yeah. got jumped because of me. I, I thought I they didn't put that, but I was the one who told Caroline to say sorry to Choma. Okay. You understand? So when she said, No, I'm not saying sorry to her, I spoke to her. Shoma said, Okay, so what about the pain? What you know what's going on? Blah blah blah. And she said, But I said and she faced Miriam and said, Miriam, wasn't I sorry? Miriam said, No, you were not sorry. She faced the Anatana and said, No, you were not sorry. Do you understand? So then she now said, But I was sorry, I apologize to Auntie Yabo. I even bought her gift with her. We were talking about. Trauma. Trauma. Yeah. Yeah. Sean, I was looking. Yeah. What are we saying? What are you saying? <laughs> Do you get what happened here? What yeah, it makes, it makes sense now. It yeah. makes sense. Because I'm kind of wondering how come that she has apologized three times according to her. And, uh, Thank you. And so if I didn't walk, if I didn't walk into them having that heated argument, do you understand? Mm -hmm. All that 
she says sorry i would have believed it and i would have accepted it yeah. because then immediately i left that beach house that day the next day as i woke up i told my pa go and return that gift to her okay. because when i said say sorry to your friend forget him bruised because of you i was expecting now to say, oh, Choma, you are sorry now. Eh? Sorry. So, Auntie, about you safe. Eh? Why did you throw her? You no, know, I was expecting us to play and laugh you know, over the matter so that we can all do you understand. Even though I already had my confirmation that she was not sorry because I heard it. That was what I wanted to do today. But she now said she was not going to apologize to Choma. It wasn't that like she was not going to apologize to me. It was not me. I was not the issue. It was Choma and her. Yeah. 